Cute Dog Coaching and Pet Care, and I'm here with Molly. Uh, Molly's with us for a board and train. She's just been here for a couple days. And so, we've been working with her on the sit and the down, and walking nicely on the leash, and going potty on command. And today we're gonna work on mice command. So, she's doing pretty great about going into the down position, whether by saying it or using some leash pressure. So, next is the place command because place means get onto that thing that I'm pointing to, lay down and stay there until I release you. So in this case, it's a cot, a dog cot. And I love these because as you can see, it's upraised off the floor and um, it makes it really easy for the dog to understand they have to stay on that, all their body parts on the cot, okay, on the place. Uh, if you will. When you start with like a dog bed or a rug, you know, they're, they could be on it but partly off of it and so that's kind of a gray area for the dog that makes it a little harder for them to understand. Once you teach them on the cots, then uh, they can begin to understand the concept of staying on the object that you've placed them on. So, uh, as with all the commands in the beginning, um, I'm not going to say the command, I'm just going to use leash guidance. And when she gets on there, I'm gonna click and then release and reward, okay? And I'll do that over and over and over. And when she's doing pretty well, then I'll add the command. I don't wanna add the command in the beginning when the dog's not really doing the thing the, really the way we like it. There's a saying, I don't know where it came from, but name it when you like it. So, because I wanna give it the name of when she's doing it proficiently, right? So, pretty proficiently, so anyway. Um, I'm just going to use a little leash guns to get her up on there, and then I'm going to click and reward when she does. I won't even necessarily look for her to lay down on it at first, I just want her to get on it. We'll do some reps there, then I'll have her get up and lay down. Okay? So here's what it looks like. Actually, I'm going to turn it this way so that I can walk past it with her use my body like a magnet. So, so I'm just going to give a little leash guidance if your dog tries to go around it. Um, and at this moment, I don't care if she stands, sits, or lays down. As long as all four feet are on there, that's when I click. And then I'm going to release, break, and reward. Okay? And then I'll do it again. Um, I'm not, initially, I'm not going to stop here and try and get her to go on it, right? Um, actually, I want her to know that I'm sending her to it, but if, in, it, in the beginning with most dogs, if you stop short and you're trying to get them to go on it, they're stopped because you've stopped. So if you walk alongside the cot and then stop in the middle where you want them to stop, that helps them. Again, your body is like a magnet and it kind of draws them forward. If you need to go a little further to get the dog on it, you can, even just leaning. Girl. Break. And we just repeat, repeat. And at this point, you know, I'm doing clicker and food. Break. Um, at this point, she knows click means she's going to get some food. Okay. And you notice I'm not, I'm not walking very far. I'm not walking all around. I'm turning right back around and having her get right back on it. Those are drills. And if I were talking, I'd be, weren't talking, I'd be doing it even faster than I am. Break. And then I can turn and come this way at it. Break. Break. Let's go. Now, if your dog, if your dog, um, trouble with this if you're trying to get them to go on it and they're really fighting it and going around because you're going around in circles or really resisting take the cot and flip it over flat so the feet are sticking up and just try and walk it back and forth across the cot initially now once you got that going on do what we're doing here walk it stop it in the middle click and reward right um, and then do that several reps of that and then flip the cot back over it's just initially some dogs most aren't but some dogs are, are afraid of an object they've not seen before and so, break. Um, you know, that's just kind of a transition thing. So, so she's actually clearly not afraid of it. Break. 
So she was about to lay down there. So I'm going to have her get on and do that. So I can wait for her, or I can use a little bit of leash guidance. Because she knows what that means, that little downward bit of pressure there, that means to lay down. Great. Let's go. And again, most dogs, that's what you'll, you'll need to do, is probably give them a little bit of leash guidance. So this time, I'll wait and I'll click until, I'll, I'll click once she lays down. Before I was clicking when she got on, and now I'm clicking when she lays down. After several rubs of that, she'll start to just lay down, go on and lay down, because she'll know that's how she's going to get the food. Great.
But at this point, since she's going on and going down, I'm going to start to add the command because I like what it looks like at this point. Okay? Place.
side of your back, we would say no, there'd be a correction, and then the command, place, okay? And that's when you really start to get some reliability out of your dog. Um, because otherwise, what's to keep them holding command? Because they want to? Sometimes, you know, they want to please you. Sometimes, most times they want to please themselves. So there needs to be some level of accountability, just like you or I, um, you know, we, there, we live by rules and laws, and if we break those, there's consequences, so it's the same thing. But, um, you know, when done properly, place. Uh, they love this stuff, and they don't mind, you know, I'm not gonna say they don't, that they like the correction, nobody likes to be corrected, but, um, you know, once they know, what are the rules? They wanna know, what are the rules? What are the boundaries? And when you're consistent with that, the dog is very happy. Actually, calmer, more relaxed, not nervous or less nervous, anxious. Type, you know, if they are that type, she's not. She doesn't seem to be that way. She's more like, kind of got ants in her pants, fidgety, uh, easily excitable, that kind of thing. But um, she'll learn. She's learning. She's doing great, actually. Very smart. She loves to do this stuff. So, anyway, if you have questions about this place command, um, feel free to reach out. You can post in the comment section. You can email me at info at good, info at gooddogcoaching.com, info at gooddogcoaching.com, and I'm happy to help you however I can. All right? Take care. Great.